Okay. Um, even though our uh, program says that, yeah, we're starting it up in the debug mode or we we'll start the debugger, we're really not debugging it until we tell Visual Micro that's what we want to do. And uh, it's easy enough to do that. All we need to do is uh, go to the uh, project and click on it and down below in our uh, properties in the micro debug we have an enabled debugging property please click on that and click full and now we've enabled the debugger uh, so we go ahead and we'll set a breakpoint and I'll just set it down here on this uh, serial print line voltage actually no let's what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, go ahead and disable that serial print line statement we just do away with that we can do away with the serial print line all that uh, old rhetoric and we'll just go ahead and uh, place the breakpoint here by clicking in the margin on the uh, voltage calculation or the ADC sensor value is, e is uh, equal to uh, or the voltage is equal to sensor value times uh, 5 volts divided by the 10 bit ADC <coughs> So, we'll right click here and we'll go down and click when this uh, breakpoint is hit, we're going to print a message. And uh, you can, by default, you can print out the function name and all this. And th that's fine. And, uh, all I really want is, uh, let's put uh, volts, colon, and then for the variable, we'll enclose it in curly braces. Okay, and then uh, we'll continue execution, and uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit uh, later on. Uh, anyway, for this, we'll just click OK, and we'll go ahead and uh, now that we've set our uh, debugging property on inside of the uh, properties here, we will really start debugging. And you can see how fast the sketch compiled here the second time. It's, uh, it's really quite fast uh, after the initial build. And the debugger, uh, this, watch ex this watch box here, or expressions window, or whatever you want to call it, I'm used to calling it the watch. But anyway, uh, as I turn the potentiometer now, we can see the values change in real time. And we still do get our uh, output from the micro debug, even though we're not using a, a serial print line in our code here, it's, it's automatically uh, injected for us as part of the debug. Uh, we can go to the uh, the com window and the port's open, but we're not getting any output on that. And this is our uh, breakpoint window that shows us the the breakpoints we have set, the condition. This one doesn't have any conditions. Uh, it's always hit, and when it is hit, it just simply prints out the voltage. And here's the output. And it looks similar to the uh, the serial window. But uh, it works to very nicely here. Um, there's a, a lot of different data that we can view on this. Uh, if you right click on the bar, you can select bin, show the binary uh, value of your uh, can select the number of times it's been hit and obviously there's no uh, binary um, uh, representation of that floating bit uh, floating point number because it, it just wouldn't make any sense anyway um, let's go ahead and set another one uh, uh, an energy value we can actually take a look at the uh, the ADC value, the, the sensor value. So let's uh, go ahead and add a, a variable to our breakpoint here. And all we need to do is just place a comma and type ADC perhaps with a colon, curly brace, and type in the variable name for that, which was the sensor value. And the curly braces. We can click OK and start compiling again.
and you can see now that uh, we're getting the uh, binary output um, our min and max hits so I take this all the way down to zero and all the way out to 1023 which is the top of the 10 uh, bit ADC it records the min and max uh, numbers binary rep representation uh, we can see that in hex and all those numbers are live too they change as the uh, ADC uh, value changes <coughs> the time, whether it's active or not, uh, the function it's located in, and the location. So that's pretty cool stuff. Um, we can do uh, math inside here also. Um, if we go back to our breakpoint, uh, when hit, we can go ahead and uh, do another voltage calc. It's really s simple. That We'll just call it uh, volt calc, I guess, for lack of anything else. And, and you really don't even need to name it. I mean, we can just go in here with curly braces, too, and uh, just go uh, use the same uh, formula as the, uh, the voltage calc on in code. It's just our sensor value. Yeah, if I can spell right. Sensor value times open print 5 and I'm intentionally not putting the 5.0 in here for a reason I just want to show you divided by 1023 close parenthesis close curly and uh, I bet you can all can always already tell what's going to happen here is that sensor value has been defined as an integer so we're multiplying that integer by the product of 5 divided by 1023. So this is all integer math. So what's this going to um, come out to? 5 divided by 1023 in integer math is going to be 0. Well, any number ze multiplied by 0 is going to be 0. But I just want to show this to you real quick here so it doesn't catch you off guard. And this normally compiles much faster and uploads much faster. What I'm doing is I have this, the uh, the cam studio running in the background capturing this video so that puts a a little bit of a burden on the processor and that's why it's not compiling as fast as it normally does but uh, here's our calculation here and uh, you can see the the output is zero because it is all entered as your math now if we go back into that breakpoint and I change that and all I have to do is just go ahead and put the 5.0 in there and on just one of them is all you really need and that will convert it to a, a float and then we're going to see a floating a, a real number put out there then and uh, there we go and that's going to be the same as our voltage those two numbers will be the same it's the same calculation the only one's done in code and then one's done in the debugger um, and then on our floating point numbers, we can actually set uh, the decimal points just uh, pretty much like we did on our, uh, our print line statements. This is we uh, go back in here and in our math, we can just go back here at the at the right in front of that curly brace as the last parameter, put a comma, and then the decimal precision you want. And um, not that we would need it, but I'm going to put a five. We'll have five decimal points, and I'll hit compile. And we're now going to see five decimal precision on our voltage. Cool beans, huh? Okay, um, next I'm going to talk about uh, conditional breakpoints and uh, actually pausing uh, the execution, actually stopping the code. Right now, in our breakpoint, we have it set up just to continue execution. Uh, let me show you uh, how we can uh, we can stop the, actually stop the processor from running here just like we do in any other types of code. So we'll uh, we'll talk about that next.